Good morning, it's the very next day. It is currently about 20 to 6. It's our birthday. It's my birthday, it's my 35th birthday. We set the alarm for quarter past five. We ended up going to bed at about 10 p.m. last night. Oh, but we are ready for safari. So excited to see some elephants. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because there's a tent next door to us. And I'm sure they're still trying to sleep. Um, but yeah, excited to go and see some elephants. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to shout. Outfit of the day is my um, North Face walking shoes. I've got on some orange shorts from Airy. T-shirt from H&M. And then this is a shirt I got like yesterday or the day before. It's a men's linen shirt. I got it for like four euros from one of the shops here. And I sewed, I sew, sewed, sewed this bit here so that it stays open. But this is my like safari look. <laughs> Wait okay. for the hat. Let's get going. Okay, so it's about five past six. We've made it to the ticket office just behind me. Jeremy's gone inside with the guide to buy our tickets. I am so excited. Like even just being at the top of the Jeep has been like exciting for, for me, which is funny. But I honestly cannot wait. I'm so happy. I just feel so blessed that I'm able to do this for my 35th birthday. It's definitely gonna be one to remember. Um, yeah, amazing. Eee! Let's go see some elephants. Also, Jeremy told the guide it's my birthday today, so he brought some cakes for us, which is so, so nice. I'll show you which ones he brought because it was the um, New Year's yesterday and these are like the New Year's cakes, so I'll show you what he bought. So I got this one again, we had this one yesterday, but we didn't have the blue colour. And then there's these balls, which I imagine are the same as the ones with the chocolate in that we had yesterday. And then two different types of cakes. So that's going to be our breakfast. Here he is again. I'm going to climb in. Okay, I'm gonna have some birthday cake. I've just shown them what's in here. I'm gonna go for this one, which I think is chocolate. Birthday cake for breakfast. <laughs> Let's go, we're inside the park now. Jamie's already busy looking for elephants. <laughs> and leopards. We have just seen a bee eater, so I'm going to pop the picture on the screen that Jeremy just took, hopefully. We just saw a crested hawk eagle, Jeremy took some photos, I can't really get a video from here. And then we've also just been given some binoculars, so we'll be able to look and have a look. We have only jackals, madam. This is a golden jackal. It's a bit like a fox, I think. But normally they are living together. Oh, okay. Egret, and then we've got a grey heron and then we've got a purple heron and I didn't know purple heron was a thing mm -hmm. Jeremy's taking some pictures I think which will be better quality than this
haven't been because this car stopped. Oh, I so desperately want to see elephants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've seen one elephant so far, and then he wants to try and find a family of elephants. So we're driving around looking for them, and Jeremy's just spotted a deer jumping in the, you see it? In the side. Yeah, yeah. Safari is fun though. I'm enjoying this, Are you enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. There's some cars in front of us that have stopped and there's an elephant really close. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 He's normally eating more than 170 kilograms per day. Oh wow. And drink like 100 liters of water. Wow. 20 hours eating, drink and move per day. Oh wow. Normally 4 hours sleeping. Sleeping standing. Really? Yeah. Little few months old elephants only down sleeping. Large old standing sleeping. They stand sleeping. Yeah. Going to under trees, then then tree support to the tree, mm -hmm. and then standing sleeping. <gasps> Two hours. Oh wow. And normally they are living alone, you know. Yeah. yeah. Seven eight years only living with mom and other parents and then go on, go on to alone. Mm -hmm. You are going to see like this too close. <laughs> because always we can show 50-60 meters behind. He's so close isn't he? Yeah. He's huge. I know how to control. <laughs> I know this elephant. It's as big as the car. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Mm. What is it doing? Yeah, looks like an African map, like African. Oh, yeah. And South Asian elephant here, like an Indian map, looks mm. like India. So, the way they walk, so right side, left side. They can walk normally 35 40 kilometers per day. Wow. <laughs> Sucking his thumb. Yeah, very confused about what he's doing. <laughs> Just sucking his trunk. Scratch 
themselves. We just found another elephant. They're also male elephants, no? This one a male? Yeah, the camera. So this one's probably about three or four years old, something like that. Turn around then. <laughs> so the male, they live on their own? Yeah. And the females, they live together? Yes. Sir. Okay. So there's a couple of elephants here. There's a female there. And then there's four cars parked. <laughs> parked up, sorry, not parked up, parked up looking at an elephant there, and there's also an elephant there. Between the legs. And body type, females is looks like a box type body. Okay. And male's body is box type around. It's like a bowl type body. Okay. And males are much bigger and tall than females. Okay. It's now about half two. I thought I would give you a little bit of a rundown and talk about the day trip. Um, amazing. So we got up at 5am, got picked up at like 5.45, quarter to six. Got to the ticket office by about 6.05, something like that. And then went into the park. So we started off by going to the kind of water hole, watering hole thing. And so like crocodiles and birds and lots of different things, water, like water buffalo. And then it had been like two hours, two and a half hours. And I was like, we still haven't seen an elephant. What do we do if we don't see one? And then he was like, right, we're going to go and find some. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I think we ended up seeing like four or five up close, which was really, really cool had such a cool day like the first one especially got so so close to us like we literally could have touched it it was so big and just so i don't know they're beautiful i love elephants so just had a fantastic day we really enjoyed it didn't we yeah yeah really really good highly recommend it we did a four hour trip um you can do some that are six hours or even like the full day like 12 hours we decided that would be too long because you can't go to the toilet and I just think that would have been too long in a car but i definitely could have done more than four yeah honestly amazing highly highly recommend it 
I'll put the information of the guide that we use in the description box. I think we found him on Viator or Get Your Guide or something like that. I can't remember now. Um, so I'll leave his information down below if you want to book in with him as well. Um, but yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. As you would have seen from my reaction from seeing the elephants, I was like, ah, oh my God. Anyway, got back and had brunch, like breakfast, lunch. Um, I then showered and had a snooze on the bed for like an hour and a half, but we're now going to go out for a walk. It is so hot. I don't think you can, you can't even really see like how much I'm sweating right now. It is so hot. But actually we found yesterday it was cooler walking around than it was sitting here in the tent. So I think we're going to walk into town. Um, yesterday obviously we just went to the place for lunch. But I think we're going to go a little bit further and kind of see what's in town. I think more things will be open today because obviously yesterday was the holiday. So maybe some shops and I don't know, not that we need to buy anything. But I think more things will be open so we'll go and have a look around there. Super happy. Really, really enjoyed that. Fantastic way to turn 35. So... Yeah, now we're gonna go into town. Okay, so we have made it to Udawalawe town centre. It's quite quiet. There's kind of small little shacks and shops and things. And we've also just made it to the post office and I thought I would show you because it was the smallest, cutest post office I think I've ever seen in my entire life. So let me quickly show you. So this is the sign. And then that's it. I think that's the post office. Is that not the cutest post office you've ever seen? So we have walked past the local school and then we also walked past some fishmongers as well selling fresh fish obviously, chopping them up, things like that. So there's definitely fresh fish here. I don't know where they get it from, probably one of the lakes or something because obviously we're inland a little bit. But anyway, we're going to keep exploring a little bit although I'm not sure how much there really is to see realistically. So this is the police station and then back there you can see a police tuk-tuk and they're so cute. So we're now walking back to the hotel and we just walked past the fish market and it makes me feel a little bit queasy because we were so ill about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that, that now like the thought of eating fish, especially it's like on the side of the road that's been sat there all day, like no. I think I've been put off eating fish for a little while. <laughs> but what is nice... Oh, they go put peas. Oh my God, one second. Look at this, they go put peas. Baby elephant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. You are from which country? I'm from England. England? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the queen is. Uh, yeah. Queen is uh, died, no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a small, I am a small boy. boy. I'm uh, she is coming to Sri Lanka. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Did you see her? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Another British government, uh, Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah, until what year? Yeah, uh, uh, many times. Uh, A long time. Uh, maybe 100 years. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so this is the hospital, which is tiny. I can't believe that. But I guess there's not many people here, but I anyway, just had a nice conversation with this man in his towel. <laughs> he was saying that he met the Queen when he was younger. Okay, so the reason I got my phone out when I started talking about the fish and then we saw the dog and then I was talking to the old man and then we saw the hospital was that everybody here is so friendly and so happy. Like, everyone smiles all the time whenever they see us. But in particular, like, kids and families. Like, sometimes they're like, hello, hello. Like, hanging out of tuk-tuks to wave at us and talk to us. And, like, that man I was just talking to then about the queen and things. Like, people are so friendly and so open and, like, wanting to know where we're from. And just want to like smile and wave honestly and just say hello to us so 
It's super friendly, so, so nice. Okay, so you know I said everyone here is super friendly. We're walking past a family party and they're like, come in, come in. So we've literally just walked into this party with like a whole big family here. Cookies. Oh yeah. It's her birthday today. It's my yeah. birthday today. They've <laughs> invited us in for some Happy sweets. Birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so I've just taken part in this and it banged on my knee. We know it. Did you know like I had another party in this? We are doing it. Oh, they're still going. <laughs> okay, next game is musical chairs. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 